distant land in the east. From across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out, and we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten alone. Hello everyone and welcome to our 13th playthrough ever. I am Ed and I will be your host and today we're doing Shenmue 2 for the original Xbox. Even though we're going to play it on the Xbox 360 because that's what I have available to me at this point in time. Anyway, so last year I did a let's play of the original Shenmue which happens to be probably one of my most viewed playthroughs on the channel which is great, it's a great thing. That means that there is much love for this series, and there are many fans out there. I am one of them, but uh, I have to admit that I'm not one of the most loyal fans because I've never actually beaten Shenmue 2. <laughs> it's something that I hope to do with you guys. Um, and if you know me, if you've been with the channel for a while, you know the, the nomenclature that I usually pick for the playthroughs that I do. And I'm not going to call this a blind playthrough, even though I don't remember most of the game. But I do remember certain characters and certain events, namely from the the beginning of the game. But I remember some things, and so I don't I don't feel at ease calling this a blind playthrough. Either way, uh, let's get this started. Let's get the epic adventure going right here. So uh, if you if you've played or if you've watched the first Shenmue, you know that uh, Ryo Hazuki is in pursuit of Lan Di, his uh, his father's assassin. And that pursuit has led him to Hong Kong. Uh, last we saw him, he was getting on a boat for this very destination. And uh, they were going to follow with his adventures. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that the water is a lot better than the one in the original Shenmue. Even though I know that uh, the game engine that they use for this version is the very same they did for the first one. I guess they kind of made some improvements, I suppose. Also, there's one thing, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it is the truth. There is a, a chapter that the designers of the game picked not to include for whatever reason. There's a chapter that happens in between Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2. That chapter happens on this very boat. And uh, there's some sort of story where Chai, and uh, Chai I think is the name of the antagonist of the first game, the, the golem looking motherfucker. You know who that is. And uh, he got on the ship, apparently, on pers in pursuit of, uh, of Ryo, and, you know, some shenanigans ensued, which um, then led to Ryu, Ryo kicking his ass, and, you know, Shenmue 2, the epic adventure begins. Anyway, so yeah, he kicked his ass, and there's going to be mention of something slightly about that, those, about those events right at the very beginning of the game, and uh, you'll know what they are when you see them. One, uh, there, one of the reasons why I picked this version of the game, well, uh, aside from it being the easiest one for me to acquire, was that uh, this one uses the original English voice acting. Like, it's a direct sequel from the first game, while the, the Dreamcast version doesn't. It, it uses, the, one, the version that was released in Europe uses the Japanese voice acting, which is actually much better, but because of how terrible this one is, I, I love it. And you, Suzuki, you lovable motherfucker. I, you, I love you, man. Now, get right on to work with uh, Shenmue 3. Alberdeen, Hong Kong. 1 p.m. Pretty cool. Apparently, our boat ride took like what, two months or, or three. Wanzai, South Kermain Quarter, Yan Ten Apartments. This is where Li Xiaotao is? First, 
I need to find one's eye. Now I have to admit my memory is a little fuzzy when it comes to uh, what our mission was from now on. I mean, they just told me what it was, but you know, um, I guess we could check a little, uh, little reader's digest of what happened on the first game right here. Sure, Yokosuka, there's nothing else. Okay, I guess he just tore and tossed the pages that were before this. No, let's assume that he recycled, that he's a good person. This is his letter, beware of those who seek a mirror. Oh, I remember the letter, yes, of course. If you need help, seek Master Chen, which we did. The Chiyu men sent Lan Di to kill father. He killed father. Okay. <laughs> Got the dragon mirror. The mirrors. The mirrors are very important plot points. Apparently, who holds both is able to have some sort of power that I've never actually understood what it is. And uh, Lan Di, he was after the mirrors and our father had them. And uh, he managed to acquire one, the dragon mirror. But uh, he failed to get the second one, which was also in possession of our father. Um, but we do, we do have that one. It's the Phoenix Mirror. So Landy left for Hong Kong and we pursued him. That's pretty much what happened. The letter to father was sent by Yuanda Zhu. From what I remember, his name is Zhu Yuanda. But I guess that has something to do with uh, the lack of consistency between the two games. Because, you know, in Japan, usually they put the family name before what would be their first name. So, uh, yeah, because it's more important. No one knows where he is, finally Xiao Tao, the only person who knows about Yuan Da Zhu. Okay. Converted Japanese yen into guys, we converted our money, and uh, now we're here. Li Xiao Tao lives in Wan Chai, South Kermin Quarter, Yin Tin Apartments, blah blah. Alright, fantastic, pretty cool. So let's begin. Traveler, stay and listen to a song. Okay old couple who clearly got dressed in the dark at a children's discount store it's a song wishing luck to travelers put some money in it'll bring good luck sure i'm a nice guy let's do it whoa ten dollars i'm not that nice i guess it's ten hong kong dollars you headed to? I'm looking for a place called One's Eye. One's Eye is that way. Thank you very much. Well, disregarding the fact that it's the only way to go, because otherwise I'd be walking into the water. Okay, thank you very much, old couple. That was nice. How about you, girls? Can you help me? Ni hao. Have you eaten yet? Uh, no. Huh? Well, yes, I did eat. No, no. It's a Hong Kong greeting. Whoa, really? It is? I want to ask you something. About this area? Yes, actually. I've just come to Wong Zai. So, I know very little about this area. I see. Sorry. Could you ask somebody at one of those shops? Okay, I guess I could do that. All right. How about you, Mr. Man, selling uh, corn on a cob? Come and I... get it. Step right up. It's hot and delicious. It's my penis. Excuse me. Hi, welcome. Um. Hot off the grill. You've got to have some. No, I want to ask directions. Huh? Oh, jeez. Which way is it to Wan's Eye? Wan's Eye? Well, first you go through that gate. You head for where you can see a big fountain. If you lose your way, ask somebody else along the way. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you. That was very useful. All right. So let's can. Well, we, I guess the only thing we can do is ask people around for everyone. Chai is. Uh... Welcome. Welcome to Hong Kong. Looking for fun? Do you need a guide? Are you a lone boy? You need a place to stay? Need a tour? It'll be cheap. Not from the League of Pedophiles from Hong Kong, thank you. Hey, handsome! Let me take your photo! Ugh. Someone just took a picture of you. Huh? He's going to try and sell it to you later. He'll be persistent, but you don't have to buy it. Uh, okay. Be careful. Not all people are nice in Hong Kong. I understand. 
No, do not worry. I'm used to Yokosuka, where no one is nice. Free stay lodge. Free stay lodge? You can always stay there for free. You are so kind. You were good to her on the ship when she was scared. Well, take care of yourself. Bye, Rio. And this Goodbye. is uh, is what I was telling you about when we first started. That I believe that in that chapter that was um, that w that didn't come out in between uh, games. What happens is Chai kidnaps that girl, and then Rio saves her, and that's why they were thanking him for what he did on the ship. It wouldn't have made any sense otherwise. Ooh, seems like we can get a map over here. Maps are very useful in this game because it, it, it's a whole, it's a very a wide area. Like you traverse a much wider area than you did in the first game. Sure, let's buy this area. It'll be useful. Workers' Pier, nice. And also, I spotted <laughs> some collectibles over here. So clearly, I'm gonna make my way right here, and I'm going to. Excuse me. What? Talk to this guy, for whatever reason. Which way is it to Wan's eye? It's to the right, after you go through the gate. Like ten people have told you that, man. Alright, so let's grab some, uh, some souvenirs. Five dollars, sure. I mean, I'm in a new land, have, have no job, and I have limited money. Sure, let's spend some getting children's toys. That seems like a sensible thing to do. Oh, look, knights! That was awesome. Nights too. Pretty cool. I'll try again. Yes. All right. Let's get one more. I really, really like these toys. They're pretty cool. Uh, yeah. What is that? Meow. I don't know what that is. I'll have some okay. More fun. One more. Sure. That's fine. And then we're done. Oh, I guess we got two of the ones that are on the little poster there for. Uh, what is this? A balloon? Shop. I'll right, have some okay. more fun. No, yeah, that's fine. We're good. I won't this time. That is cool. One thing you can do in this game, from what I remember, I guess this guy. I think this guy tells you about it. About it. I don't know why I remember him, but Excuse sure. Excuse me. Are you by any chance Japanese? Uh, yes. Yes, that's right. I knew it. So you like to buy the capsule toys, eh? That's a little unfair for you to generalize like that. Huh? Yeah, sometimes. All right, we're gonna be good buddies. Okay, I got some real sweet info to pass on to you. Sweet info. You can sell your old castle toys at pawn shops. Uh, okay. At the pawn shop? Yeah, but each store deals a different stuff, so be careful. Thank you. Yeah, that actually is nice info. I guess yeah, that's one one of the things that I remembered from uh, from originally playing this. You can sell capsule toys at pawn shops, which is something they introduced in, in this game. I believe th th there wasn't a pawn shop. Well, there was, well, there might have been one in the first game, but you couldn't really sell things there, or could you? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Hey, where are you going now? I'm heading to Wan's Eye. You know what? I'm going to a place called the Lucky Charm Quarter. The Lucky Charm Quarter? That's where my new home is. Come with me, please. I'm sorry. I'm busy right now. Really? Wow, he's great with kids. 